I'm going to teach you how to start eating healthy in today's video. We're going to go over food journaling, my solution, my simple method for how you can effectively food journal without it taking up the entire of your life and you making it your personality. You don't want to become that kind of person. You don't want to waste your time with food journaling. I will propose to you a very effective solution to this. First, let me introduce to you the reason for a food journal. Le you need. <laughs> Why do we have a food journal? The main reason is to track your progress. It's like going to the gym and not seeing any muscle. You need some way to track what you're doing. You get to see what you're eating on a daily basis. And most of us are not consciously thinking of what we put into our bodies. We're not consciously thinking of the food that we're eating. And a food journal is really going to help you to start to internalize what you eat on a daily basis. The problem with a food journal is you wanted to start one with like the traditional pen and paper or making it on like Apple Notes is after, before every meal, before every food you eat, you have to go write down uh, freaking pizza, apple. That's, that's so fucking annoying. You're gonna have to do that before every meal for like a month or a week, however long you're gonna do this food journal. It's gonna take up your time. Not gonna be very that good. And my solution to this is just taking photos of your food. Most of us, we take our phones everywhere, yeah? That's why it's so effective to have these little apps instead of carrying around a little notepad like a geek. What you're gonna do is you're just gonna snap a photo of your food before you eat it. People already do this basically, taking photos of their food and posting on Instagram. Take a photo of your food and instead of posting on Instagram, just save it in your library. Well, eventually over time, you're gonna, your library's gonna start to fill up with pictures of the food you eat on a daily basis and you will, that will be your food journal. The reason I like this method so much it's easy to just snap a photo of your food. And most of us, when we sit down to eat, you know, we'll like watch fucking, we'll scroll through social media while we're eating. So it's basically, you're already doing this. Just swipe up, click on your fucking camera, snap the photo of that shit, bam, bust it out. Instead of going to your little app, little food journal app, typing in, uh, I had this pizza for dinner it had this many calories this much bullshit you can you can tell what you're eating by just taking a post picture of it that's why i like about it so much you're gonna get a lot more information visually taking a photo of your food it's gonna help you that's that's gonna be your new fo food journal is your little library on your phone your little was it that f the photos app on your phone is gonna be your new library for your all your little food journal and what you hope to gain from this it's just a better insight on what you're eating on a daily basis. You'll be able to see where your health problems are coming from. Like, for example, you might be really skinny. You might not eat that much. And you're concerned about what you're putting into your body. Like, I eat that, I swear, I eat this much shit. I eat so much on a daily basis. Yeah, I'm still fucking skinny. Or, I swear I barely even eat. I starve myself and I'm still fat. Well, a food journal doesn't lie. It's gonna show you. If you feel like you're super unhealthy you know the food journal is gonna expose the truth that's what i like about it and you'll start having realizations and you can start making the appropriate changes maybe i need to eat more maybe i need to have more healthy fats into my diet maybe i need to cut out sugar your food journal will help you i guarantee you that start your food journal and you can start eating healthy